Cheers. Hi, I'm Shez. I'm Gav. And this is our Beneteau Oceanus 430. We made our dream a reality. Welcome aboard to Astrid the Wombat. Hi everyone, welcome to our very first episode. This one's like a bit of a mishmash of pieces that we put together for when we were looking at boats. So we looked at a lot of footage um, to find out like what it looked like when people were trying to choose a boat and we thought we'd film each boat that we went to look at. Um, what I neglected to do was <laughs> film a lot of the discussion in between. So you're going to get a little bit of me explaining in between. So just bear with us for this first episode, guys. But um the, the first boat we actually looked at was a, oh, was it? I can't remember the sort of boat it was, but it was really narrow. It was the very first one we looked at. It was a Friday night. As soon as I stepped on board, I said, nah, this isn't it. Um, and so then the next, the broker that we saw there said to us, hey guys, there's another one that might, you might be interested. It's called Mishka. Uh, go out and have a look at that. And uh, yeah, you're about to see our very first time looking at Mishka. Here she is. So here we are looking at our second boat. This is Mishka. What is it, babe? It's a Richter 42. Richter 42. There is a dive platform at the back, which we're a bit excited about. But all we've been able to do is just look in the windows. What do you think, babe? I love it. You love it. Let's move on to my. We'll have, <laughs> we're going to see if we can have a look inside tomorrow. So, Mishka, from the outside, we love you. There she is. And the name grows on us. The name is growing on us. Maybe and we could call the tender Astrid. Yeah, that's true. We had Astrid chosen as our name, but thinking Mishka might fit and there's a good spot up there to look at dolphins so it's got everything so far we need a dive platform and a dolphin platform all right babe we're gonna look inside tomorrow yeah. okay so we've come to have a look at Mishka we thought it was going to be tomorrow but it's today and in the meantime we've had a fiscal conversation that involves me being very excited and Gab being very sensible. Yeah, we can't afford it. So, <laughs> we are thinking we should take care of other things first and then do the boat and maybe we're doing things in the wrong order. But we've already messaged and the guy's like here, we didn't think he'd be here at the moment. So, we're gonna go ahead with looking at it and um, we might film our serious financial conversations next time. Let's see how we go. So that was Mishka. We were very excited. We actually even thought of our, our um, like our lo logo or whatever was going to be Mishka and Mrs. <laughs> thought a lot about it. It got as far as they sent us the current survey that was on it. Um, and Gav rang the surveyor and the surveyor said, have you guys ever sailed before? We're like, no, we've never pulled up a sail. He goes, this is definitely not the boat for you. So it was farewell, Mishka. We decided then that what we would do is focus on doing our house up, ready to rent, paying the house off and selling any of the stuff that we really don't need on Marketplace. So just starting to declutter uh, and go through that process. So it was a big decision. We both felt a bit sad because it was really exciting looking at boats and stuff. And I was still in Gav's ear going, I think we should keep looking at boats just so we have an idea of if a good one comes up, then we can pull the trigger. <laughs> so I was constantly like, what would it look like for us to change our plan? What would that look like? Anyway, I'll let you keep watching the journey. So Gav's outside, you might be able to hear the machinery. We are working on a side garden just to get this house all ready <clears throat> for renting. Um, and I've stayed inside to get all the books and stuff up on Marketplace so that because we're home all morning, it's a good time to do it. But just I just 
like was getting dressed and stopped and thought how bloody cool is it that we're actually doing this you know like the steps where we're doing it um we've talked about this for so long like that this has been our dream and although this is way back at the start of the journey you know we don't have a boat obviously yet um this is the sort of content that we were looking for because a lot of the shows um on youtube sort of start at the purchase of the boat um don't show everything that goes into how you get there and what that looks like and even the emotions behind it it's quite weird selling you things and thinking well you know is this stuff that we want um you know we don't really want to pay storage you know like we don't want to do that um and slowly we're realizing that it's they're things they're not we don't need to take them with us you know like let's just scale back um let someone else enjoy them and just take on what we actually need and it it's something really refreshing about that it's like that whole decluttering idea as well so um yeah i just thought i'll take a minute and just say wow we're at these steps are happening our dream is starting to be realized way back at the very beginning where we, you know steps we're realizing it you know we've gone and we've looked at two boats so far um i feel like we're looking at 50 i don't know um but you know we will purchase within the next sort of 12 months is what we're thinking um and i think we'll know when we get the boat like we've named it with you know it's like the child you're adopting, you know, this will be our home. Um, we want to make sure we get the right one, um, the safe one, but also, you know, I don't know that Gav feels like this, but I feel like I'll know when I step on it. I feel like there's going to be a, this is it. This is my home. This is what will keep us safe in the ocean. And this is what is going to ferry us through all of our adventures, which is so exciting to think that, you know, like this is the vehicle to adventure. Um, so super excited about that. Anyway, just wanted to pop in and say that. He's probably wondering where I am to help out. Um, so I'm going to throw on a load of washing and um, get out there and, and do some work. <laughs> We've got some whacker packer thing. I don't know what the technical term is, but we're thumping down stuff, whatever. I just do as I'm told. Um, so yeah, I'll, um, I might film a bit of that for you because it's always going to be a bit hysterical. So anyway, have a great day, guys. Little bit. That way or that way? That way? That way. of our project to get this house ready. How are you feeling about it, babe? I'm feeling sweaty. <laughs> Not in a good way. There's, um, so we've extended out from our carport this space here, and we just use a whacker packer to put the crusher dust down. Um, there used to be a big veggie garden here that we had aloe vera and more recently, so we've taken out what we wanted to put into these pots. Um, we'll let the grass grow that now out to the fence and uh, we're going to head off and get some decorative stones to put over this bit and um, our project is finished. So pretty epic morning this morning. First sale done, 80 bucks. So our 80 bucks is going in our boat pickle jar 
Um, so I'll film putting it in the pickle jar, which is pretty exciting. But yeah, it's been within, you know, very quickly this morning that we um, actually got somebody contacting us about that. So hopefully there's a few more today. The gardening is going really well. We've leveled everything out and now we have to go and get some decorative rocks to put over the top. Um, and yeah, we've been um, super busy. So the house is coming along. Okay, see ya. So when I say we're putting our money away in a pickle jar for the boat, we literally have a pickle jar. So already got money in there from stuff that we've sold previously. And here's another $80 couple of lobsters to go in the jar. It's been a good morning so far. There's a rainbow. You're making rainbows. So a little one? No. Nah. Okay, so we didn't last that long. A few months of doing out the house and getting rid of stuff and we were back looking at boats again. Um, it's just like this thing in the back of our heads. How do we get out in the ocean sooner how do we see the world sooner and when that voice is nagging you really loudly at some point you got to start listening to it so we decided to look at some more boats just so that we were aware of what was around so that we were aware if there was an amazing bargain that came up and we knew exactly what sort of boat we were looking at so in the meantime I was listening to podcasts constantly so um, liverboard sailing podcasts like podcasts from you know brokers and um, you know people that have worked on boats their whole lives about what to look for what not to look for I was researching forums I was researching boat designs I was doing all of that which was <laughs> quite different reading for me and um, yeah we just needed to put it into action uh, so yeah off we went to look at a few more boats East Coast Marina. Got two boats to look at today. First one is the Beneteau Cyclades or Cyclades or Colossally something something. So it'll be pretty cool. Hi everybody. I'm here. just thought I'd jump on and sort of recap what we did on the weekend. So um, we went and had a look at another two boats. Um, the first one was a Beneteau Cyclades or Kiklades or something like that. I don't know how you say it. Um, and it was not for us. Um, just not the, it, like it had a V-berth as its main bed. And that's a really big thing for us. We really want to be comfortable. We want to have a full-size bed. Um, that didn't have it. Um, would also need us to add a few things to it. I think uh, it was two twenty nine thousand. I think, which is probably a bit on the upper end for that um, boat. Lovely boat, well kept, all that sort of stuff. But um, yeah, just not the one that 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 we would want. Um, also, you know, we really want something that's good for blue water. And as much as you can take them blue water, if we can get something else around the same price, it's actually categorised for blue water. That would be better. Um, and then we went and looked at a Dufour. Goodness. The Grand Large 445, I think it was. Oh, my goodness, what a beautiful boat. And honestly, just ready, we would have to add a dive compressor, compressor to it. Um, it had a water maker, um, pretty much everything else. We put davits on it for the um, tender. Didn't have any davits, but, you know, not critical. Um so pretty much ready to go and so beautiful. Oh, my goodness. I mean, this boat, so light inside. Um, the beam is over four metres. So, 
you know, really lots of space. It had an inline galley, which, you know, looked really good and gave you that space inside. But I that was probably the only thing I had a bit of a question mark over, like, you know, trying to cook under passage. Probably easier not to be in an inline galley so that you got something to lean against. Um, but other than that, and I'm sure we would cope, to be honest, because this boat was just amazing. Um, so then we had the conversation, always ends in the money conversation, you know, um, about how we're going to get there and we're not quite there yet and la la la. Um, so we're big, we just need to save. We need to get, you know, try and get sort of 50 grand in the bank and, um, and then, you know, we've got the motorhome as well to sell and then the amount that we'd be borrowing would be considerably less. Um, so that's the focus at the moment. So we came back, got some more of our stuff out of the roof and more stuff on marketplace and see how we go with that. Um, so there is literally shit everywhere in here. Like just, yeah, what was tidy is now a complete mess. Oh, excuse me. Um, but I had a look this morning on Yacht Hub, like there just seem to be boats coming up every day at the moment. And there's a Beneteau first 44.7 in New South Wales and it's 180,000 it is the boat that could do what we want to do right size all that sort of stuff um they've only got photos of the outside but nothing from the inside um so I've requested photos from the inside um it's 180,000 so this is much more in our price range um, again, we're not really ready to buy yet. I don't know what it would take for us to like get our skates on and have to do it now. It, like, what sort of deal would that look like? That's the kind of thing that I'm kind of think we should know. Um, figure that out. I don't know. The money thing is really not, I'm not good at that stuff, but I do think, you know, the prices are dropping, these boats are coming on every day. If something comes on that, um, really meets our needs at a really, really good price. Do we jump at it now um, and figure that out, how we would do that? I don't know. Um, and I look it up all the time to see what the answer is or if there's another way to do it that we haven't thought of and there's not. I even bought this book, um, Sailing Into Retirement and How to Do It. Um, but, yeah. We're pretty much doing everything that's in there anyway. So uh, to date, hasn't really told me anything. Um, so anyway, that's where we're at. I just thought I would update on what's going on, steps that we're taking. So, yeah, just learning a bit more about the boats. It's really good, I think, going to look at them. I'm not sure if Gab feels the same way. I think he's worried that I'm, you know, wanting to do this right away. That's not the case. I just like learning about it and... Um, Knowing then, okay, well, like that Cyclades or however you say it is not the one for us. So we don't have to be looking at that anymore or looking at the ads for that anymore. It sort of knocks one out. And slowly we're narrowing down what it is that's going to have what we want on it. And also getting to know what the prices are and what they're actually going for and, and what that looks like as well so that we can make reasonable offers. You don't want to be a dick about making an offer. So, um, yeah, we're getting that, just that education in. Um, on that so I can see why this takes a year to do and we're not ready really at all to buy at the moment either so that's why I thought let's use this time this year then to learn about it oh goodness you're learning a lot today it's not good for a Monday morning and go and look at things and yeah and and learn that way so um yeah that's what they're doing if I could if I could get a purely remote role our life could change considerably because I could work while we're doing this which would be just amazing um so I've been having a look at something like that as well um but um don't really know how that would work in terms of from the work that I do but um anyway something may come up but that's all I've got for now just thought I would update um, on what, what happened over the weekend. We meant to do a recap video, but I think we're both just so tired. We never really got to do it. Sort of came back and got stuck into everything. And then, 
you know, watched episodes of Delos for the afternoon. <laughs> this is pretty much, oh, yeah, we can do that. Let's do that. Um, pretty much how it rolls. Uh, I think everyone's been in the same boat back at the beginning. So we'll continue to update you all. Um, we've been just recording all these segments, and I guess when you get to see them, they'll be all pieced together and, and stuff. But thinking about starting our social media now and our YouTube channel soon. Um so that it follows this journey of us to the boat um, all the way along. So, yeah, I'm considering getting that so that by the time we actually get the boat and move on to it, we've got a, our channels a bit more established. It's just a matter of where this is very interesting for people to watch, I guess. But anyway, we'll, um, we'll see how we go. All right, guys, have a good day. See ya. Hey, guys. Well, thanks for making it to the end of our very first video. <laughs> was a big learning curve for us, and um, it was a lot of talk, but lots it was... Lots of swearing. Lots of swearing, yeah, we oh, and, swear and learning how to use editing software. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What's that about? It's hard. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, we uh, wanted to include all of that sort of content, because it's the stuff that we were looking for um, when we were making the decisions on boats, and... How to get and money. So for the 13 people that actually watch this, you'll know exactly <laughs> what exactly what we go through to get the boat. <laughs> yeah. You'll be able to follow the journey. Stay tuned for the next episode. Is it called an episode? Yeah. Next episode when we actually put an offer in on a boat. Woo Very exciting. But for now, it's see you from us. Yeah. Like and subscribe, 13 people. <laughs> <laughs> we know who you are. <laughs> see ya.